Fuck. 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 Oh, oh. God damn it. Fuck. 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 A mess. No. Get up there. For me, the whole point of playing video games is to have fun. And I'm the kind of person where the amount of fun I'm having is usually directly related to the amount of difficulty of the game. I get frustrated pretty easily, and when I get frustrated, I get angry. I wasn't lying in the intro to my Proto Man Plays videos that I've been playing video games for 20 years and still not being very good at them. Hey. You've seen my frustration expressed in my Proto Man Plays videos, but honestly I'm a lot more restrained in those than when the camera is off, so to speak. I've never thrown a controller or smashed things really, but I tend to sigh a lot, slam the table or at my legs, walk around my room loudly complaining to myself, or just scream. Weirdly enough though, the most angry I've ever been at a game wasn't at a real game so to speak, but Rayman Raving Rabbids. I liked the game overall, but it had the single most aggravating minigame I've ever played, and it's the one where there are four bathroom stalls and you have to keep closing the doors that the rabbits open. To close them you have to point at them and shake the nunchuck to close the door. Of course, every now and then, the nunchuck wouldn't register my shake. But overall, it was just insanely hard to keep closing the doors for the required time, which was like a minute and 15 seconds or so. I usually made it past the minute mark, but then something happened or a rabbit would walk across the screen, and if I hit them, then it was game over. I'm not going to tell you what I did there in my fits of anger, I'll just say that I'm very glad that nobody saw it, although I bet some of my neighbors heard it. And ironically, there was a level 2 version of this stage, which had the doors opening faster and more rabbits walking the way, but you only had to do it for 45 seconds in that one, I think. And just because of the time being shorter, I could do it in just a few tries, unlike the probably 200 tries I spent on the first version. When I was a kid during the NES era, my mother got me a Game Genie, and I think that was an important factor to me still playing video games to this day that I got to know that there was a way around the huge difficulties that NES game posed. It allowed me to relax more about it. As time went on, I of course found other versions of the Game Genie and other cheat devices like Game Shark and Action Replay. Up to a few years ago, most of the games I had beaten was with cheats. Now I still think that using cheats doesn't necessarily make a game super easy, like playing Mega Man games with infinite health. The pits and the spikes are still there, and you know how much trouble they are. Still, I started feeling a little guilty about it all. I mean, I couldn't ever brag about the games I had beaten, because I beat them with cheats on. Having fun was still the most important thing, but I wanted to have a little pride in it as well. One turning point came when I tried to beat Wario Land on the Virtual Boy. The levels weren't super hard, but the final boss was. I was lucky I had the power adapter for the Virtual Boy this time, because I played it for at least two hours, trying probably something like 50 times. But finally, I did it. And while it wasn't the first time I had beaten a game without cheats, it was my biggest feeling of triumph yet. Then I discovered Game Center CX, a Japanese television show where Arino, an initially 30-something comedian who plays Famicom and other games while not being very skilled at all at games. But his patience is unnatural. He endures hard games for 12 or more hours, which is something I never could. A lot of times he would give up, but more often than not he would actually triumph over very very hard games like Goats and Goblins, Battletoads, and Prince of Persia. He and the show is also very funny, and it's enjoyable to see more of Japanese gaming culture straight from the source. But most of all, it's inspiring. I will never ever have Arino's level of patience, but watching him surely made me extend my level of patience and endurance. I don't think I'll ever stop using cheats altogether, because it allows me to relax and have fun. But I am trying to cut down on them a lot, and not use them unless I feel it's absolutely needed. On the other hand, cheats are a dying art, as very few games nowadays have them. Games today are made to be easier because game companies want to reach a wider audience, and apparently coding a difficulty selection is just too hard. My total of games beaten with cheats stand at 168, and my total of games beaten without cheats are 125. Before I beat Warrior Land, and before I found Game Center CX, that number was probably less than half of that. In my next video, I'm going to list the top 10 hardest games I ever beat without cheats.